So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 27. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Second down, here's Newton. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Throwing on third down, Newton. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 14. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, Oftentimes, interceptions result. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. throwing on second down. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. carry for Donnell Pumphrey. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. A loss of a full three yards and now it's second down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. On play action, it's Wentz. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Partner, we had their game last week where they had six sacks, so a little bit more momentum here again in the first quarter. And last week it appeared that they were coming out of sprinter's blocks, chasing the quarterback. So how do they continue that? How do they keep making it happen? Different looks, different disguises, different angles that they chase it. They were so disruptive last week. We'll see what the trend is here as we go forward. And he's going to be brought at his own six-yard line. Mario Addison in there to get him, and that's sack number six for him on the year. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Taken right around the 44. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45, and the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. Carolina getting set to take the field. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you. A huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points. Stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves. Maybe they can their defense a little bit. by put some points on the board on this one. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. Come on now. Eight. Get it up. 
To throw on second down is Newton. He's going to fuck. This is caught inside the 15. And he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play there for Carolina. 43 yards. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey. Able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. To me, that's a terrific run on first and goal with the three. They got two yards. I'd line right back up and give it to him again. Second and goal from the one. They come out here in the eye. Here's Newton. Buying time. And the Panthers in for the score. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. Gano out to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing his wins. He finds an opening past the 40. And he's got the veteran here. It's Mike Wallace. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? He was able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the... Wentz now on first down. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And he's brought down. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Alshon Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body. Ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control. And you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. And this is caught at the end. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. A really good pickup of 28 yards. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. They've got it first and goal at the seven. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. On second down, here's Wentz. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Mike Wallace, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. Elliott 
good on the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Panthers' offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They give them 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. On second down, McCaffrey. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Dancing to his left. He may try to run for this. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 23. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. They fake the give. Now wins. And he'll hit Jeffrey complete. That goes for a gain of 31. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll run it down with Pumphrey. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Dontari Poe in on the stop. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Now a play fake. Wentz is brought in by Jeffrey. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Came up. 
up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Wins to throw on third and one. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Oh, well, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. Now following the interception, here's Newton. He's going to fire one. It's caught inside the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. Newton on first down. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Fletcher Cox in there to sack him, and that is 10 for him now on the year. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Here's Newton now on second down. Being chased out left. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third right, down go, go, go. situation. The Panthers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 17. Out of the gun, Newton. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with, but it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. 82, 82. Wentz will try again on second down. And got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Lion, Lion, Lion. 81, 81. Lion, Lion, Lion. Black, Black, come on. Go, go. Waiting. Wentz now on first down. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense, as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Wentz now, now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And this will be incomplete. The all-pro linebacker, Luke Keekley right there on the coverage, stride for stride. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl-type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Let's go, Greg, Greg. Back to the air on second down. Wentz. This will be caught 
inside the 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A first down for the Eagles. Wentz fighting the former Raven Wallace. Again, it's Wentz. Flush to his right. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Wins to throw on second down. Got him in. Open. It hurts. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles are able to cash it in for six. And he's able to put it through. Elliott now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now a first down throw for Newton. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Draw play as Newton gives to McCaffrey. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And they'll be facing a third and 12. A shotgun snap for Newton. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And once again, they go with Sproles. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. A six-yard pickup on the ground that time, and that'll make it third and four coming up. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, 
that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. The Eagles on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. Shotgun now for Wentz. Going up top. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is down deep into Carolina territory. Wentz finding his favorite receiver, Jeffrey, on a big one. 46 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They run with Humphrey. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. couldn't do a whole lot else. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. They'll try and run this. It's Pumphrey. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. Second and goal from the one. It's a sneak. It's Wentz. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. Officially no gain on the sneak. Kind of a wasted play there, and now it's third down. This Carolina defense looking to keep him out of the end zone once more. Third and goal. They'll try and run it now with Spurs. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Darren Sproles, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Eagles add on to their lead. Elliott now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The putter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. They go play action here on first down. He goes full extension, and he's got it. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I know you don't get anything extra for degree of difficulty, but maybe you should. He's done absolutely everything in this game today, including laying out for that one. On first down, it's Newton. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. 
That goes for a gain of 31. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll give it up to the captain. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are able to get this back within a touchdown. Gano out to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On the carry, here's Clement. And some space here. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. The reason that counter or misdirection plays work so well is that usually... You've given them a reason to think that everything's going to the direction it starts initially. You've run that type of a play throughout the game. You've given them that look. And now you're going to counter things and bring it back the other way. Almost a tendency breaker at times. And a lot of it is making sure that you have an illusion, almost like a magician. Look over here, but the play is actually happening over there. And that's where a running back's vision comes into play. See the hole in a place where people don't expect and get there with some speed. And that's exactly what he did on that play. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run him now out of the gun. Gets by him and now a little daylight. 20, 10, touchdown, Philadelphia. Darren Sproles with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Eagles had six to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. This is field at the eight. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. He's going to air one out. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. It was Jalen Mills getting a hand in there defensively. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. On second and 10, Newton. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the dump off, and it's third down. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But 
right now with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage does. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. And a key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down, spectacular catch, turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. Back to throw, Newton. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Newton now 12 of 15 throwing the ball, 80% so far and it's first and 10. From the red zone now, Newton. That is caught at the seven. And he'll be taken down at the two yard line. Another big hitter there, this one good for 18. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back to back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great effort there with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. Gano out to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Throwing on first is Wentz. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. A good pick up there of 20 yards. What well, may seem a little unorthodox to some people, got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. On the run, it's Pumphrey. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Good shit. Shorty, shorty, shorty. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. That one goes for 24 yards. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out.
Now Wentz throwing on second down. Goes underneath for Sproles. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down if they want to take another shot and try to some things up. That'd be the time to do it. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And the kick by Elliott is good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. This will be fielded at the eight. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Now it's Newton. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in a game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes the quarterback look a whole lot better. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. There's Newton. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Throwing is Newton. Now a desperation throw. And this is taken in at the five. A big play there for Carolina. 41 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. Newton. Six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. Get your backs to the goal line. I can hear my high school coach right now. This is when force meets force. Got to be physical in order to win this battle. <laughs> yeah, that's where the physicality pays off. A nice job forcing the contact and forcing the incompletion. Yeah, Coach Ford would have loved that play. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Here's Newton. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. So a field goal gets you back within a score, but they're going to go for the bigger chunk here. Kicking team on the sidelines. Offense on for fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Eagles are likely going to win it. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use him here as the kneel down comes.
A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because 